are at a pivotal time in the history of humanity. During 10 days of ceremony, prayer and celebration, nine stone tablets will be brought to the gathering and a new directive will be set in stone by elders and youth alike using glyphs, symbols and word. A set of guide stones that shine a light on the interconnectedness of all things, inspiring mankind to walk lightly on the earth once more, leaving a legacy for future generations to come. We have entered into a very special time in history. Uh, it began on October 24th when the blue sphere appeared in the solar system, if you know about this which was marking what the Mayans call the end of time. And we are in a window of time where there is great change about to happen on Earth. We're now in the times where we're bringing in great messages to this the world. And now we're getting ready to create an event that will bring in the medicine entities, peoples that are on that spirit path to bring in an awakening to this, the Mother Earth. Listen to your heart and know that these are the times of new beginnings, times of new ways, new forms, but not to forget about the beauty of this, the Mother Earth. Honor the times, honor yourself, honor spirit, and honor all that is. It is with this I say to all my relations and welcome and come and gather with us at this time when we bring the return of the ancestors back into the worlds. This is a profound event of worldwide importance uh, spiritually for the time that we live in today. We are nearing this shift of 2012 and the return of the ancestors is a further culmination of the healing of the ancestors, the healing of the ancestral memory. There will be elders from all parts of the, the world that will gather and come to uh, Northern Arizona to share their wisdom, their prophecies, where we will be able to share their visions and their prayers and their prophecies, as well as this healing of the ancestral memory. So I would welcome each of you to participate and to join us in whatever way that you see uh, in, your, in your path. With everything that's happening with our environment, the important thing that we need to focus on is the way our ancestors have lived for thousands of years. We welcome indigenous and non-indigenous people to attend, where many indigenous elders from around the world can come together and share how their ancestors have lived and pass on that knowledge and information to our children. We are the future and we are paving and putting this path of oneness for the ones that are still coming after us, the future generations of tomorrow. The purpose is to dance with the earth and the elements, sun and the moon and the ancestors to bring joy to the people and the earth. This is a time to unify the children, elders, leaders, medicine people, men and women to bring equality and balance within our world. Oh,